brands, a seamstress, my mum was involved in textiles, so it runs in my blood. Um, and it's just something I've always been passionate about, and I like kilts, I've had a few kilts made, and I've always been fascinated about how to do it. I tried to do it myself at home, but it wasn't possible. I've got lots of people lined up that already want kilts, family, friends, and things like this, so um, I've always got that as a project to do, but yeah, there's potential for something to go a little bit further. So for a long time I've thought I wanted to make a kilt and so a few years ago I started looking for a kilt making course. So it's, it's, it's really nice to sit here and do it with other people as well. I thought about this through um, research online. I was interested in kilt making, I was sending out letters of introduction and looking at the top kilt makers in Edinburgh. I found this place in the Kilt Makers Academy and it sounded really intriguing. I love the idea of doing something that's bespoke where you actually get to meet and interact with the client and see something that's actually appreciated. I was a great instructor. Uh, everyone here has been wonderful. History and etiquette and how you wear them, how to deal with customers and of course the complexities of trying to build one of these things, which is just incredible. Um, I'll uh, make kilts for people in the United States. Uh, I do have uh, one friend here, a Scottish friend, that, that I'm going to make a kilt for before I leave.